even after becoming full-time workers in Tokyo, it's still not stopping us from getting into the countryside. Although, we only have time for Sunday day trips, so it's a late start on Saturday night for us. This time we're going to our favorite place in the Saitama region, Chichibu. the train at Chichibu, we stumbled onto this awesome cultural event that was happening. Walking around on this rainy night was a fantastic reminder that you're now in the countryside. Hello, welcome to Chichibu. We're about an hour and a half west by train from Tokyo. We have been here once before. If you watched a camping video of ours in the Chichibu countryside, at that time we were camping, this time we just rented a small Airbnb for a night. It's very cute, very traditional Japanese futon beds on the floor. And we got that just so we wouldn't have to travel here and back in one day. It's currently springtime, the cherry blossoms have unfortunately all finished. But in Chichibu there is a very big park with all different coloured mosses on the ground that make some beautiful patterns. We're going to go check out some other spots in Chichibu. So we'll get ready and then let's go. exactly like it does in like all the photos. It's beautiful, really. And it's a wonderful day for looking at it. Yeah. And it's open. Wow, it's so bright. It's open between um, the middle of April to the middle of May. So you can come and see it for a whole month. It's so beautiful. back at the station we're waiting for a bus because despite the flower festival which is on during April and May there's also just heaps of stuff to do around Chichibu one of them is called Mitsumine uh, Jinja or shrine um, it's supposed to be a power spot and one of the best places to see in Chichibu so we're gonna take an hour bus out into the hills <laughs> hopefully the right one hopefully the right one <laughs> We thankfully did get on the right bus and made the long winding ascent into the mountains. The shrine is dedicated to Japanese wolves and has been an important pilgrimage site for many years, with people even making the trek all the way from Tokyo in the Edo period. Now there's a couple little cafes at the top where you can stop for some lunch. Do you want to tell the audience where we are now? I'll tell the audience that the lady who works here said that we can go sit on the veranda, but I said, oh no, that's okay, it's a little tsumetai, which is the wrong word. I meant to say summary, but yeah, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Just drink your tea instead.
tip when traveling around in Japan is that sometimes, usually, at um, bigger stations and tourist spots, there will be coin lockers near the station. Um, as you can see, they're not massive, the biggest ones are over here, but they fit all of our stuff for one night, a big umbrella, so it's great if you want to go exploring but you have some luggage with you. You just pop them in here. Check it out. This is like how much we stored in there. Like imagine walking around with all this stuff. We really hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.